Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Mathematics 6. But this time, we're going to discuss about problem solving in addition and subtraction of decimal. Let's go! So, our learning competency for this day, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to solve routine and non-routine problems involving decimal numbers, including money, using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. Now, let's recall how to add and subtract decimal first. So, we have 25 and 3 tenths plus 4 and 482 thousands is equal to n. So, first, align the two numbers vertically in column and then add 0 if possible. And then, perform the addition process. So, 0 plus 2, the answer is 2. 0 plus 8, the answer is 8. 3 plus 4, the answer is 7, and 5 plus 4, the answer is 9, and bring down 2. Then, I fix the decimal point. Therefore, the answer is 29 and 782 thousands. Now, for number 2, we have 863 and 73 hundreds minus 31 and 43 hundreds equal to n. First, align the two the numbers vertically. Make sure the decimal point aligned in column. And then, perform the operation. 6 minus 3, the answer is 3. 7 minus 4, the answer is 3. 3 minus, two, the answer, three minus 1, the answer is 2. 6 minus 3, the answer is 3. And then, bring down 8. And then, fix the decimal point. Okay? So therefore, the answer is n is equal to 832 and 33 hundreds. Okay, so let's discuss the problem of the day. Problem number one. Anna and her mother are going to be called by airplane. Anna's traveling bag weight 15 and 6,500 kilos. Her mother's traveling bag weights 32 and 6 tenths kilos, what is the total weight of their traveling bags? First, let's use the four steps of Paul Biasin problem solving. Let's recall. Let's understand first the problem, plan, solve, and look back. By understanding the problem, we're going to know what is asked and what are the given. By planning the problem, we're going to determine the operation to be used and write the number sentence. And to solve the problem, solve the number sentence and write the complete solution. And look back, we're going to write and check the final answer. Now, let's go back to the problem. Let's understand first the problem. What is as in the problem? Correct. The answer must be the total weight of Anna and her mother's traveling bag. Now, what do you think are the given? The given are, correct, the given are 15 and 6,500 kilos for the traveling bag of Anna. And we have these 32 and 6 tenths kilos for her mother. Now, let's plan the problem. What should be the operation to be used? Correct. The operation to be used is addition because of the word weight or the total weight of the traveling bag. Now, what should be the correct number sentence? The correct number sentence is 15 and 65 hundreds plus 32 and 6 tenths is equal to n. Now, where n is the total weight of Anna and her mother's traveling bag. Now, let's solve the problem. First, align the two numbers in column. Make sure the decimal points are aligned vertically. And then add 0 if possible. Then perform the operation to be used. The operation is addition. So, 5 plus 0, the answer is 5. 6 plus 6, the answer is 12. Break group, 1. And then 1 plus 5 plus 2, the answer is 8. And 1 plus 4, the answer is... And 1 plus 3, the answer is 4. 
and then a fixed the decimal point. Therefore, 48 and 25 hundreds kilos is the weight of Anna and her mother's traveling bag. Now, to look back, since the problem is asking for the total weight, it means we will add the weight of the two traveling bags. So, therefore, the answer is correct. Now, let's go back. Let's proceed to uh, problem number two. The side of the uh, triangle measures 10 and 3 10 centimeter, 16 and 2 10 centimeter, and 14 and 25 hundred centimeter. What is the perimeter of the triangle? Take note, grade 6 pupils. To find the per perimeter of the polygon, like triangle, we need to add all the sides. So let's draw first the triangle. So this would be the triangle. So we have 10 and 3 10 centimeter plus 14 and 25 hundred centimeter. And we have 16 and 2 10 centimeter. So to find the perimeter, you're going to add all the sides of the triangle. Now, so the formula for the perimeter is P is equal to side plus side plus side. So by substituting the value, we have 10 and 3 tenths plus 14 and 25 hundreds plus 16 and 2 tenths. So align these three numbers in column. Make sure the decimal point align vertically and then add zero if possible to make the three numbers same number of place value. So let's perform the operation. The operation is addition. So 0 plus 5 plus 0, the answer is 5. 2 plus 2 plus 3, the answer is 7. And then we have 6 plus 4 plus 0, the answer is 10. We group 1. And then 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, the answer is 4. And then a fix the decimal point. Therefore, the perimeter of the triangle is equal to 40 and 75 hundred centimeter. And then let's proceed to problem number three. Problem number three, the perimeter of rectangle. So this time we have the rectangle. So whose length is measured is 12 and 4, 10 centimeter. And the width is equal to 9 and 3200 centimeter. So again, so to find the perimeter of the polygon, like this one, we have the rectangle. We need to add all the sides of the rectangle. But first, let's draw the rectangle. So this would be the rectangle. And then the length of the rectangle is equivalent to 12 and 4 10 centimeter. So this would be both sides of the rectangle and then we have the width of 9 and 3200 centimeter this would be also both side of the width of the rectangle so we have now all sides of the rectangle so by performing the operation so by observing also the formula to find the uh, perimeter of the rectangle, we have 2 length plus 2 width or length plus length plus width plus width. So by substituting the value, we have 12 and 4 tenths plus 12 and 4 tenths plus 9 and 32 hundreds plus 9 and 32 hundreds. So let's align this one in column. So we have this one and then make the uh, four numbers same number of place value by adding zero. So let's add two plus two plus zero plus zero. The answer is four. Three plus three plus four plus four. The answer is 14. Regroup one. And then nine plus nine, 18 plus two plus two plus one. The answer is 23. Three regroup two and then two plus one plus one the answer is four. Then affix the decimal point. 
Therefore, the perimeter of the rectangle is equivalent to 43 and 44 hundredths centimeter. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, grade 6 pupils, I hope you already know how to solve problems like routine and non-routine problems. That's all for today. Thank you and God bless everyone.